What I was going to say to push to many opponents, you most by that extended left hand, and he does right hand and a hook by Garcia. There is no shortage of proud and cocky men in the world of combat sports. But sometimes the arrogance bites them in the back when they make the fatal mistake of underestimating their opponent. Braulio El Chavo Rodriguez learned this the hard way when he faced Ryan the King Garcia back in 2018. Yes, he did everything he could to survive. Look, you've got to do what you've got to do. So what happened between these two fighters? How did El Chavo disrespect the king? And what did Ryan Garcia do to humble the cocky fighter in the ring? Let's find out. Good luck to both of you. First, let's look at how El Chavo disrespected Ryan Garcia. The way Rodriguez talked and carried himself around, Garcia made it pretty obvious what he thought of his opponent. He, he thinks um, Ryan Garcia don't fight it good, fighting like that with him. Rodriguez believed himself to be the better fighter. Well, that's fair. Fighters, after all, have to be confident in their ability. But his attitude made it clear that this was more than confidence. He didn't even think of the match as a proper fight. You see, Rodriguez, like so many others, is popular, but that's it. Yeah thought of Garcia as an influencer rather than a real fighter just because of his large social media following. They labeled Garcia as just another pretty face, as if the pretty face made him any less dangerous. El Chavo even said that Garcia would finally meet a real man during the fight, but Rodriguez did not stop there. During the entire weighing ceremony, El Chavo walked and talked with an unbearable swagger. Finally, this arrogance peaked during the face-off. As a vain demonstration of power, Rodriguez pushed Garcia with brute force. Look, even the beautiful lady standing behind Garcia was caught in the middle. Absolutely unacceptable. But Rodriguez went on and on. After this showdown, El Chavo said that Garcia was a chicken and scared to face him in the fight. Because, because you're scared of me, you're a chicken. Tomorrow you're gonna fight with a real man who is me. So it is clear that Braulio El Chavo Rodriguez gave no respect to Ryan the King Garcia. But do you think it was just a show to get inside Garcia's head? Or did Rodriguez really think so little of his opponent? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Now the question is, what made Rodriguez so darn overconfident? Who is this fighter? At the time of the fight, Rodriguez was 10 years older than the 20-year-old Ryan Garcia. So naturally, by then, Rodriguez was already a seasoned fighter with more experience in combat sports. By 2018, he had participated in 22 professional bouts, winning around 86% of the fights. In fact, 17 of his 19 victories came from knockouts. So this fighter definitely knows how to deal some serious damage. He can be ruthless. Combine that with his intimidating looks, he can be one scary opponent to be against. On the other hand, Ryan Garcia's good looks make some people think less of him, less of a man, less of a gangsta. All of these silly little things and El Chavo's 17 knockout record made him extremely cocky and made him feel that Ryan Garcia truly deserved no respect. But is Garcia truly undeserving of any respect? Before getting into the fight, let's take a quick look at how Garcia is as a fighter and answer whether he deserved all the disrespect. Ryan Garcia has been a professional boxer since the young age of 17. By 2018, he had already fought in 16 bouts, winning all of them. Despite being a decade younger than Rodriguez, Garcia's experience in the ring was not that far off. Plus, till that day, the fighter never lost a match. In fact, Garcia has a finish rate of more than 80%. All of this was possible because he trained tirelessly from an early age. From training with the Cobra bag to participating in countless amateur bouts, he has done it all. So the king definitely is not just a pretty face. He is dedicated, fast, and powerful. With strong punches and agile movement, he embodies Muhammad Ali perfectly. Move like a butterfly, sting like a bee. His hands can't hit what his eyes can't see. You can't touch Garcia, but you can surely feel his sting. So Ryan Garcia is definitely not a fighter who deserved the disrespect that Rodriguez had shown him. But Garcia understood very well that talk is cheap. The real response must be given in the ring. Now all that's left to answer is what happened in the fight after all the disrespect. Even in the fight, Rodriguez tried to hold onto his swagger. He gave a condescending laugh and spun as soon as the ref signaled the start of the fight. 
He did all of this to show the world just how better of a fighter he is compared to Garcia. But the swagger would soon turn to dust in front of Garcia's raw skill. Rodriguez looked aggressive from the start. He threw some solid punches, but Garcia successfully defended most of them. Garcia kept his composure and took it slow at the beginning. Both fighters boxed and defended counter-strikes quite well. But then, finally nearing the end of round one, Garcia floored Rodriguez with a beautiful short left hook. Right, that was an overhand right up to the head and that beautiful left hook. Rodriguez looked shocked. He underestimated his opponent as a chicken and got bitten by a T-Rex. That must have made El Chavo dizzy. Yet he got back up before the count to 10 and even tried to land some jabs on the king, but got beaten up instead. The second round was also dominated by Garcia. True that Rodriguez was able to land a few light punches throughout the round, Garcia was also successful in making counter-strikes. But then El Chavo did something weird. For some reason, he believed it would be a good idea to taunt the man who had been beating him to a pulp. So he dropped his hands, made funny faces, and made gestures to mock Garcia. In fact, he did everything other than land strikes on his opponent. Garcia, on the other hand, remained calm in the face of all the taunting and made sure to punish his opponent whenever he got the chance. At the start of the third round, Rodriguez looked more in control. He continued with the antics, shuffling his legs, making funny faces and all that. But this time, he was also able to land a few good punches. Rodriguez even punched Garcia's nuts. But look at how calm Garcia is even after all of these. That's true professionalism. Then finally, with one minute remaining of round three, Garcia phased El Chavo with a quick lightning jab to the face. The king finally found his opening and kept on punishing the cocky fighter with punch after punch. El Chavo tried to put on a brave face, but he was not fooling anyone. He was hurt real bad, but the arrogant fighter still would not stop fooling around in the fourth round. I guess the goal was to stun Garcia with the clownery and then hit him with a strike when he was not ready. But with butterfly-like movements, Garcia evaded almost every single one of Rodriguez's jabs. Throughout the three rounds, Garcia landed 48% of the power punches he threw. On the other hand, Rodriguez could only land 7%. The difference between these fighters could not be more obvious. As if to answer all the disrespect, King Garcia lunged forward, cornered his opponent in the ropes, and served a flurry of painful strikes. But somehow, Rodriguez survived, and the fight dragged on to the fifth round. But the cocky fighter will soon see his end in this round. Garcia dominated the round with a mighty right-hand jab to the face. Then he cornered Rodriguez to the ropes once again, and this time knocked him down with a beautiful left-hand jab. Look at that beauty. Rodriguez fell to the floor. The ref started the count, and ting, ting, ting. After all the disrespect, clownery, and trash talk, Ryan the King Garcia humiliated the arrogant Braulio El Chavo Rodriguez. The King stood victorious. But the good thing is, after the defeat, Rodriguez understood the errors of his way. While many fighters hide behind a wall of excuses, El Chavo owned up to his mistakes and said that fighters like that go nowhere. So learning from the mistakes, he is trying to be a better fighter. What do you think, folks? Should Rodriguez be forgiven for all of his errors? Or is it too little, too late? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Ryan Garcia, on the other hand, went on to win one bout after the other. Then to finally cement his legacy once and for all, he stood against Gervonta Tank Davis in a boxing super fight. Click this video to learn more about the fight that shook the world and gave us a new face of boxing. Murder on call with the fuck I've been hanging every day from a lot of fucking till the dinner every night